Hello Internet. This is a slew bearing that I 3D printed. You can find a description of how to make it in the link below. Um, it took about an hour to print and I'm using some 1 8 metal balls. There's 70 of them uh, in the exterior here and a couple of drops of 3-in-1 oil. I put a long screw to make it easy to grab and as you can see it turns it doesn't take a lot of pressure. Uh, it was a lot stiffer before I oiled it up, but now it's, it's very nice. And the beauty of this kind of bearing is that it's, you can't pop it out like you could with a roller skate bearing. You can't, um, you can't shift it sideways like you could with, a, with a, um, a Lazy Susan or a thrust bearing. And you can't, you can't put something in here and then twist you know, to, to lever out the center. I mean, you can, but it takes a lot of force. So it does all the same things as a more complicated device. I'll give you an example. Here is, here's a robot arm that I'm working on. And in here you see a thrust bearing. And under this plate is another thrust bearing. And they're pinching together like this to hold it onto the base. But I can do the same thing in less than half the space with one of these. So, and I can even put these gear teeth on the outside of here, and then I'll have all these pieces reduced to one, one 3D printed part. So, yeah, I'll put a link to the robot too if you're interested. It's going to be, uh, I'm bringing it to all the fairs in the near future. Um, so if you like that, please uh, share it with your friends, tweet it, and, uh, and follow us for more great stuff. I'm posting a lot to, in to uh, Instagram, and uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So thank you for watching, and uh, catch me next time. It's been Dan from MarginallyClever.com. Have a great day.